Hi everyone, welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial video series. In this video, you'll learn how to use our merchandising features, they are, product ranking and rule-based merchandising. Merchandising, in the online context, is the art and science of displaying products or offers on a website with the goal of increasing sales. With this objective in mind, we came up with these two tools to help you merchants optimize conversion rates, by setting up strategic triggers to promote the right products to the right customers automatically. Product ranking and rule-based merchandising are both effective for search result pages only. But they are different in the way that, while product ranking is to promote one specific product, rule-based merchandising is for a group of products. First is product ranking. With this feature, you can change the ranking of specific products in the search result, thus to promote and increase the visibility of particular items. So, here how you can use it. First, you have product title column, which includes the product list of your online store. If you want to search for a specific product, simply query its ID or title in the top right search bar. Next, you got to decide how and how long a certain product is ranked on search results. We currently support five types of ranking, including, no ranking, always prioritized, matched search, keyword search, and at the bottom. Let's find out how each type is displayed on your storefront. No ranking is initially set as default for every product, and the ranking for this settings remain as it is, no affected. Always prioritized means that the product is always pinned at the top of a search result, no matter what your customers search for. This is to help you promote a special product, a hot seller, or much required item. A side note, this is a super strong ranking, so even if you set other ranking types while this one is still effective, the product will still be prioritized on the top position. For example, if I set autumn women's shirt item as always prioritized. On my store, no matter what keywords I search for, the top displayed result will be this product. For match search, the product will be prioritized to the top of the search result page, if it's in the result list. You can use this ranking setting if you want to promote a certain product for target searchers. To illustrate, I rank best black t-shirt as matched search. So if I search for black shirt, this item will no doubt be on top line too. Keyword search, the product will display at the top of search results if the assigned keywords is searched for. For this ranking, you have to input one or many target keywords in the box, and separate them by comma. This ranking type would help you cross promote a certain item if you know how to use it right. To give you an idea of how it works, I'll set black bra and panty as keyword search. And choose the target keyword are underwear, lingerie, intimate. So if I search for one of the keywords, this product will be prioritized to display on top. At the bottom is used to demote a product to the bottom of the search result page if it's one of the results. You can use this tactic for products that are almost out of stock, or when they are not really seasonal. For instance, I choose black cotton shirt as at the bottom. So when I look for black cotton or just cotton, the item will be settled at last. Aside from ranking, you are also able to set the time limit for each ranking of each product. Except for no ranking type, in which you cannot set a date range, for the rest of the settings, feel free to adjust the time duration to match your promotion plan, a seasonal campaign, or a business strategy. We include a variety of date range for you to customize. You can choose a day, a week, a month, or any custom time period. Lastly, Please remember to save ranking to make it in effect whenever you make any adjustment. Moving on to the second feature of merchandising, which is rule-based merchandising. As we explained from the beginning of the video, rule-based merchandising is to promote a group of products, so it'll be useful if you want to prioritize the visibility of many products in one time. We'll go into the details of how to use this feature and how it works on storefront. Firstly, choose Add to create a new rule. In Rule Information block, you can decide which product group and what ranking you want to set for them. Before that, name the rule you want to create, to later tell them from other rules. In Collections, you can choose one or many collections that you want to apply the rule. In my example, I only choose Dress Collection. After that, decide the ranking for this rule. There are three ranks, namely High, Medium, and Low. Like their names, they will decide the ranking of the product group in the search result page. So if I choose High Ranking, Keep in mind that the group product will be prioritized to the top of the results. 
Next, you have to define the conditions to complete the process. This is to narrow down a specific group of product that match certain conditions in a selected collection. If you choose all conditions, products which matches all of the listed requirements will be applied with this condition. If you go for any condition, products only need to match at least one of the conditions. Following different product attributes are different conductors. And for each of them, you have to enter a deciding value. For example, I choose the attribute product vendor, with conductor is equal to Gucci. Then, I add another condition, promoting products that have titles containing white keyword. I decide that the rule only has to match either one of conditions. After saving and waiting just a few minutes for the app to configure, we can check the results. In our example store, when I search for dress, all products that match either two above conditions, which is to have white keywords in the title, or belong to Gucci brands, they all show on top of the search result. Back to the app. Similarly, you can create many other rules for multiple groups of products, like with low and medium ranking. Gradually you may have yourself a list of rules. When that happens, you can easily manage all of them, like reorder, searching for a rule's name, edit or even delete. A big final note in product promotion, if a product is assigned with both product ranking and rule-based merchandising, the priority will follow product ranking. So, this is the end of the tutorial. Reach us at support at boostcommerce.net if you need any further assistance.